My command, loose! Stand ready for march! Fall in! Get into position! Okay, so welcome back to the Bare Bones. So first off, I, I would like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel uh, since it launched three weeks ago. Each new subscriber encourages me to make and improve my videos. So today I'm going to be taking a deep dive in a three-part series on longbows. Um, part one will be stats and some place and location on maps with play footage, tactics, that kind of thing. Uh, and parts two and three will be more play footage on various maps so I can show you some places that are good for longbows. Uh, and, and the tactics that I use. Now, I'm doing this because my videos tend to be a bit too long, and, and I'm trying to shorten them a bit. So, to that end, I removed all calculation videos um, from, like, after the outro, like I used to have them, because it gives the false impression that a video is, like, five to ten minutes longer than it actually is. So, okay, so here is the timestamps. Uh, if you want to click ahead to what interests you, uh, so that, you know, you don't have to listen to me ramble on if you don't want to. And uh, let's get right right in on the first thing on the list, which is my doctrines. So I went with 10% accuracy because when you're shooting what becomes 121 meters, if you do it right, uh, the epic pen and damage doctrine, and of course the breakthrough doctrine for again, even more damage, right? And there it is, that extra five meters to range, bringing you up to 121. Now I've had friends I've played with ask me why the five meters range, right? At 116 meters, longbows have plenty. That's, that's what they tell me anyway. And, and that's because, to me, the primary use of a longbow unit is to outrange and kill other ranged units. If you're on a map that has no spot for you to really get the most out of your range, then you should probably drop the longbow unit for a shorter range to higher damage output unit, or a silver unit that has higher DPS but short range. Either way, you know, you don't need that range on those maps. So why spend the 250 points for a longbow unit when a 180 point, you know, NAM can will do just, will do the job, you know. Um, but there are maps where you actually can use that extra five meters. You know, you place your unit in a safe area, you shoot over houses, uh, you know, from extreme range that at, at range units that can't shoot back. You know, I'll get into that later. But um, anyway, let's look at let's look at the veterans retreat. So I went top line and you do this to, again, get all that extra range and penetration. But one thing I want to show you is that final ability, right? Precision training. Uh, Note that this gives you extra ac accuracy, but how much, I don't know. It, it doesn't say, right? But the price of that is you lose 10% to your already anemic rate of fire. Now, I, I do recommend taking this because if you're shooting at targets 121 meters away, more accuracy is definitely better, right? So better than not hitting at all. So I recommend in, in, in the unit tree as well now that you also take practice shot. Well, it says shoot, but I'm pretty sure they mean shot. And at least two levels of it to make up for the loss of the rate of fire from taking that higher accuracy in the veterancy line. Now, I'm a bit of a completionist, so I'm, I like trying to fill out all the unit tree. But you, but you don't have to. But at least take, at the very least, take those two points in practice shot or shoot. Uh, now, here are the stats for my max longbows versus the basic longbows. I can't tell you how much better DPS-wise they are as a percentage. percentage. Uh, because I'm just, I just don't want to spend the gold to remove all the points in the unit tree. Because that's a lot of points, which means it's a lot of gold. But essentially, the max unit it seems to be 20 to 30 percent better than the basic unit. But even a decent silver unit can out DPS them. Like, I mean, the DPS is pretty anemic because the rate of fire is so bloody slow, right? Uh, and that's why I think this unit is for anti range. Now, if you have nothing else to shoot at, by all means, take a shot at the sword unit sitting there. But, but the second an enemy range unit appears on the field, that should be your primary target. And you have three minutes and 46 seconds of ammo, so use it, right? Now, now, tactically, one of the reasons you want to be extreme range with your placement, which is why that extra five meters is so important, is your shot arc, right? If you're too close, the possibility exists that your longbows will shoot into a wall or, or, or whatever, and they won't clear the obstacle. Whereas if you're at extreme range, they, they're pretty much pointed straight up at the sky, right? So you can put them behind a house and they'll shoot over it. But this unfortunately means you have to come forward and direct their fire if you can't see, right? 
Uh, but if you're shooting beyond the wall over a house, it's harder for their team to pick off your longbows. So it's a bit, a bit of both. You know, so they might want to trebuchet you, but they can't get to you because you're behind a house. You know, the other, the other possibilities of, of an individual player might ramble in and try and kill you, and that happens to me a lot. Now, if that happens, just press V and let your longbow shoot the guy down, right? You probably will still lose half the unit, but at least you'll kill the guy that did it, you know? Now, if you see someone going for a unit and you can get back, the best thing you can do is make sure you're a class that has some kind of knockdown. Right, I use long swords class of shields because it's pretty instant. You know, I, I just need to get close and then I can run them over. And at that point, you want to press the number two ability on the longbows. And this tells the longbows, as you probably know, if you've got a pair to shoot at you, right? Shoot at the nearest thing to you. And that's going to be that player. And so they will literally kill them down, kill them down fast. And uh, I actually have an example of this uh, in this video. So anyway, that being said, that's how I use them. That's um, how I think you should use them. But I mean, by all means, don't bother. If you don't want to use them this way, then don't. So, but I do want to show you this. Um, here is my uh, career stats for the longbows. Now you can see that my kill death rate is three to one, right? 3.3 to one, you know? To me, that's pretty decent for longbows. I, I don't know, maybe you're like an amazing dude and your longbows are sitting at 20 to 1, but mine are at 3 to 1. So, um, and that's with me always shooting at max range whenever I can. Uh, you'll notice that the average troop killed is 24, but again, 24 is 1 to 1, not 3 to 1. So obviously I'm having some matches where I am getting over 100 kills. And, and I tend to, to do between... 60 to 80 kills if it's just me whereas if i'm playing with my buddy we both rock and longbows your my kills go through the roof because he might hit a guy and almost kill him and then myro comes in and, and kills him right so that's that's uh one reason to play dual longbow units if you can um so that being said uh let's go on and look at the, the first video and uh what it entails Okay, so here we are in uh, Valley Fortress. This is actually one of my favorite longbow maps, and it's a very good basic map. Uh, everybody knows where all the longbow longbow spots are. Um, I like the one right right where I'm circling it uh, on that back wall here. Get into position. And I usually just park my longbows in that little little staircase to keep them safe. And now, if you, um. I'm also kind of going to be skipping ahead here and there so that you so that you don't have to sit through the entire first 16 minutes of the, them pushing the siege towers. But if you possess longbows that don't have that 5 meter range, your longbow arc, circle, glowy thing, is probably only going to just barely reach the wall. And they're not going to reach that right hand tower. Whereas with the 5 meter range, you're going to see that mine do. I can auto fire all around there. I'm already, like you can see it, like the, the glow is, is past the wall. And so now I'm just going to start shooting into that, that zone while keeping my eye on, of course, the, uh, the trebuchets. Because I don't want to get hit. Now I do allow myself to get hit in, in, this, uh, in this map because of, I wanted that amusing intro. Uh, but also because in, in this map also, once this area falls, I generally switch out to fire archers or nam cans or something, right? But you can see me getting damage, right? And the kills are, are kind of starting to, to rack up there, but that's not what I use as my metric. I use as my metric is how many, how much damage did I actually do in the end of the match, right? If I get over a million, I figure I did okay, right? So if you do over a million damage, you get like 20 kills. If you've done a million damage, you've probably helped out that unit up there. And, and the other good thing is that supply point, obviously. When the supply point's nearby, you can rearm at will. Um, so I think I skipped ahead here again. And oh yeah, you can also hit this point here on the right. You can just see me just knocking those guys over there. Anyway, so another thing I wanted to mention is is one of the things that will help you get a lot of kills is if you've got a team that can hold the line, right? Uh, you need time to work. These guys don't shoot very fast, and their damage is, is anemic. But if you've got time to work, you can actually 
you can actually get some decent damage, uh, decent My command. work done, Boots. right? Like, Stand and you can see again, I can hit that 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 tower on the right, far right, quite easily with that extra five meters of range. Um, I really technically don't need to direct the fire, but I do anyway because they'll they'll start shooting at stuff over on the left if I don't, right? So again, they're coming up that other wall, and they're shooting on their own. But I want to really direct that fire, so I, I again I just keep putting that. My uh, direction fire down. Stand ready. And I'm up to 35 kills. And the good thing is, too, is that you're really helping out the guys on the point, right? Because you're doing damage to what they're trying to kill, and you're helping them kill. And obviously, you're getting kills yourself. Like, I'm already up to 47. So this is this is like one of my average matches. I'll actually do 79 kills with, with just these guys at the end of it, and then I still have the fire archers to pull. My command, loose, stand, attack. And then they send them back to get more ammo. Because when the lull hits, I like to rearm them as quick as I can. Right now, here's what I'm talking about: uh, how you should be shooting that range unit. That range unit sitting on that tower. That is my primary target. I'm now going to wreck him. And he doesn't even know know what's coming. He's probably not even standing there with his guys. He doesn't even see it. Now he does. He's moving, getting the hell out of there. And he can't shoot back at me. He doesn't have the range, right? And the reason I put my guys down him, like, if I was a range guy and I saw a bunch of longbows shooting at me, the first thing I would do is drop a treb on them, right? So that's why I move after I do that. And I go right back to wrecking him. My command, loose, stand ready. And he's just taking it like a champ. Right. That unit is now no longer uh, a threat. So I go right back to dropping stuff on the on the point. And again, I don't care about ammo because I'm literally right next to supply. And now we we're going to lose A here. And once we lose A, the longbows become not not as good, right? Not as not as required because you can you can you can shoot into C from the supply point. Uh, and actually pass C into the little Mark trench command. there. Uh, but archers, can, the fire archers I have can as well. So I'm just sitting there getting extra kills, waiting for that treb, which is going to come. And I do see it, and I, and I make the decision right here. You know, I needed some funny footage. So I decided to, to let the treb hit me when, it, when I saw it coming in. Because I was going to switch to the fire archers anyway. And the fire archers, like I said, you can just rain the fire archers on that, that, that C point. And just stand there and uh, light the fire whenever they get on it. And come on, where's that trap? Okay, here it comes. So here it is. Here's a trap. I see it, and I said, "Okay, Loose. let's let's let this happen." And I, go, I thought it was pretty. Uh, but that's basically. There's a couple of good maps that are like this that you can shoot uh, from the wall. So here's a field battle, and this is Emerald River, and. Uh, I took uh, the time to grab the supply point behind me, and by the time I got up, and this is a free battle too, by the way, and by the time I got up to uh, where I could shoot Units, in, assemble. our team had already collapsed like a wet blanket. Like, they just completely lost me in Fall seconds. Up. So, um, I had to get the heck out of there. So I saw that cav unit, so I said, ah, I'm not going to go there, so I'm going to go to the right. In a second, I'll go to the right. Here we go. Yeah, so I go and take this spot, and you always got to be cognizant when you're standing here that that road goes down to their side too. So someone's going to come up that road when the time comes. You only got a few, a couple minutes of shooting here, and then you really should move, right? So I get up here, and already B is gone. So I thought uh, I'm going to try and take out that 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 Pavis unit standing there if I can get away with it. So I put the guys up here, and I start following that Pavis unit as he's running. But I realize at this moment that I'm probably not going to be able to do this. My and uh, so Loose. I actually see that mall guy come up, start to come up here. And so I, I say, I bet you he's coming for me. So I, I move the the uh, the longbows right to the supply point to try and see if I can get out of there. But I, I'm looking for him. I see him, and here he comes. And this is where I'm saying that two key comes out really well, right? So I've already hit two. I accidentally hit the, the formation button, but I hit two. And he's trying to go for them. But he can't. So I knock him down. 
and bam, he's dead just like that, right? So, because the Maul is a one-trick pony. If he can get in on your unit, he's gonna he's gonna wipe it out. But when it's fighting you, you know he's got to pick you up and haul you off to his unit, and let you let you die there, right? So, if he doesn't take out my unit, he's fucked, and that's what happened. So here, um, I, I put this in as well, also on Emerald, just to, just to show you the kind of range you can get out of this. Uh, past that arc. So I just keep moving forward until I can I can start hitting those guys past that arc. And then I just start doing the same thing as I retreat back. I just retreat back a little bit, shoot. And I, I like playing on field battles because, because you know, you're probably not going to get tread. The only thing you really got to worry about is a longbow player or someone putting a cannon down. So, and right now I'm close enough that they're just... They're just popping off rounds. You can see I haven't done very, very, very many kills on here. Because this whole map, uh, this whole thing, like, collapsed, Mark like, so fast. Loose. Stand ready. This unit skill is on cooldown. But I still have the full unit. Command. And eventually, I decided ready. to run away. But as I did that, I turned around and the, the rest of the team was coming up, so I stayed. I got nothing else to shoot at, so I'm just shooting at the, the shield wall there. My command. The Loose. Stand ready. And I'm doing damage, not really getting kills, but I am doing damage. Command, loose, stand ready. I'm a bit of a nitpicker. I, I like, well, maybe I'll just get a little bit more onto the, the guys, you know, so I'll keep. I think at this point, yeah, I started saying I'm going to shoot those guys command. beyond them because they're not a shield loose. wall. Stand and they're not going ready. to be able to tank damage as well as a shield wall is. And eventually I see the, the range units behind them. And so again, I just start shooting command. the range units. Loose. Stand ready. Like, shooting at a shield wall is just. Um, not as as advantageous. So I turn around and come back, and then here's the shield main, so I'll support them. So I again turn back around and start shooting. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming for any range unit I can see first. If I have to, I'll shoot at a non-range unit, but otherwise I'll aim at any uh, shield unit I see first. Uh, at this point right now, though, obviously I'm shooting at the cavalry, because I don't want the cavalry at me. The enemy captured the point. My command. Loose. Stand ready. Again, see that right on the range. Command. Loose. Stand ready. Trying to get a little bit more height so I can just get the thing right on it. Even though, technically speaking, it doesn't need to be right on the guy. They'll shoot at the nearest ones anyway, but... I like to be sure. So there it goes. It's starting to get more kills. This isn't one of my better matches, because what happens next is, is you can see our team is just collapsing. So I'm like, I better get out of here again, I decide. So I decided to start moving. And then just at, right about here, I look to my left, and I see that we're about to get hit. So again, I try to tell my guys to go to the supply, and then I try to interrupt these guys from killing, but it's too late. Uh, that cavalry kit comes around, and then this spearman directs my whole unit. And I just didn't have a chance to, to get out of there. But like I said, we, we lose the next like two minutes after this. So this is one of my favorite field maps, this one here, because I can I can usually sit all day and just rack up an impressive skill uh, kill kill score. And uh, you can put them on um, on the platform or behind it. I start out behind the platform generally because I'm I'm watching for those longbow players. If I was smarter, I would have check to see if there was a longbow player, but generally speaking, if you put your guys up on this platform and there is a longbow player, he is going to shoot at them, right? So I don't put them up here right away, because I don't need to. Look, I can I can reach all the way out that way. This is somebody else's nose. And I just make sure that they are arcing over, at least the majority of them are, and I'm getting hit. And you can actually kind of adjust those guys. Um, like, I actually want to adjust them a little bit back, because then they'll start shooting up, right? Um... 
He's like, oh, wait, but again, as you can see, I'm, I'm still getting hits. And I'm just putting it in the general area, and they'll shoot at it, right? And here I'm checking arc again, making sure I'm just clearing the thing. And I do, I think, decide to put them back a little bit to make sure they continue to clear it. Because the farther away, you're better to get that higher arc. And the other thing you got to be cognizant of is, is that, again, players will come for you. So I, I do keep Loose. looking around. Or watching the little map on my on my right. And I see these guys shooting to my right, and I'm like, wait a second, what's going on there? My command. And I'm like, what? So I turn to my right pretty soon. I can't believe I didn't notice it that quickly. And I send my guys away because I because I know that there's something over there. Then I bring him back. Form up. Fall in. Stand ready. And then they start shooting at that unit that we had seen that I had knew was knew was coming because the the nam cans were shooting at them. So I also figure out mm, they're probably going to come for me. So I am going to retreat my guys away. So I look at the end supply point and I send them there. And then I use my hero to stop them from interrupt interrupting my my, 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 uh, my retreat. Once he decides to retreat, I stop, press V, and let them shoot. Because if he's no longer looking at me, then, then I'll then I'll sit there and shoot. And I just adjust so I can get more shots into him. Now at this point, I think I've decided it was safe to be up on the platform because I wasn't getting uh, longbow shots at me. So I do decide to move up here eventually. My command, loose. And again, you see me shooting at the range units. Or trying to. My command. Loose. Stand ready. Yeah, I, what I was doing there was checking hard to make sure I could get over. Where the hell did I make that decision? I think it's here that I make the decision to, to come up to the platform. So I know that there's no, there hasn't been a longbow guy trying to get me. There hasn't been anyone putting artillery down. So I go up here, and I just start rocking. Command. Now Oops. another good spot is to the left of this platform is another one, and you can get up there and, and do some good work there as well. You see from this position there isn't too much uh, I can't hit in the center of the field. This is not the optimum shooting rate below me, but there's nothing else to shoot at, so I just let them do their thing. Like I said, I'm close enough to a supply point, I can go back and get it if I want to. pretty funny. Usually people don't leave me up here alone all this time. Usually someone's trying to take me out, but throughout this whole match nobody even bothered. Then mind you, they're winning, so I guess why, why bother if you're winning like that? My command. Ready. Loose. Stand ready. Attack. We're unstoppable. Oh, 
come up. Fall in. Yeah, there's a little platform I told you about. If you know this map, you obviously know it's there. And I do prefer ranged on field field battles, like I said before, just because I don't have to worry about trebuchets and stuff like that. Get into position. Fall in. <laughs> he thought about it. He's thinking about it. Burn his unit up. And I use my unit to take down his. And I don't know why he charged. It's kind of really, really weird what he did. I'm using that number two to the else. Probably a lot of the arrows are hitting the, the platform, but. Attack at will! But you'll notice the weird thing of, of this match is is I haven't lost a single man at this point. My command, loose, stand ready. And I'm looking around a lot because I know that. I gotta keep keep an eye on people coming up on me. My command, loose, stand ready. I think in this match I actually managed to break a hundred kills with the longbows. Getting pretty close. But this, this is not too usual. Our Usually command. I do have someone trying to take Loose. me down. Stand ready. My command. Enemy has Loose. Stand 100, ready. yeah. So obviously, I, even though we lose this match, I had a team that must have been decent enough to keep them all uh, occupied so that I could sit there and have my fun. And that's what I, the way I looked at it, too, is I'm, I'm having fun. I'm, I'm liking shooting these guys. So uh, could I have helped win the match better if I was more aggressive and brought a melee unit out? And maybe. But, I mean, I still did 100 kills with one unit. Um, so that's the, the last video on this video. And I want to thank you for making it this far if you did and watching it. Uh, parts two and three and maybe even four if, if uh, there's enough footage I'll try and show some really interesting and unique places that I shoot from um, like Ark and Over houses and, and, and stuff like that so anyway thanks again for for your time with the bare bones uh, please hit that like and subscribe and share with your friends and I do appreciate uh, all you guys hanging out so have a good one cheers